good technique. I like it. Imagine that, John Boy Flexer right here. Lieutenant Jim Ray and Lieutenant Mike Galpin are instructors here at Top Gun. They both flew as, as bad guys in the movie. They're pretty f colorful guys. Let's sit here and see what they have to say. <laughs> you know, these pilots can't wait because it's two hours of flying. And once we get the footage done, we just go rip it. Each pilot, I made a deal with them. It's like, let's get these shots as fast as possible, and then let's go play. You know, let's go hit it hard over the desert. I'm going to rate you guys at the end of the day. Who's the best pilot? You know, I started it's like, I was thinking, how am I going to get these guys to really push it? You know, Bozo did this. You know, Bozo, it's like each guy wanted to know, what did the other guy do? You know, so we just started really ramping it up. By the end of the day, we were going vertical, peeling over the egg and just pulling back the power and just letting that F-14 float. We went all the way down past 20, 18, 15. You know, at 12,000, they're just pulling out right at 8,000 feet from it. Was, it was just unforgettable. I think about that, it was really beautiful. The sun was setting at the end, and we're ripping through the clouds. Great pilots, and it was a true honor to have had that opportunity. How was it? Oh, it was great out there, <laughs> beautiful. You loved it, fantastic. At the end, we were on a carrier. The night before we went on the carrier, there was a party. So a couple of guys were in sick bay, you know, the way we, we landed on the middle of the ocean. And we weren't supposed to know where is the carrier, because it's out doing maneuvers. When we hit, everyone kind of spread out. There was no call sheets. We couldn't figure out who's who, what's what. Our actors got a chance to feel what it's like to live on a carrier, because they were on there for about four days. You know, you share bunks, they call it hot bunking. You get to sleep for six or eight hours, and then you jump out of bed, and somebody else jumps in your bed and goes to sleep. Of course, the sailor's been working 12 hours, and he comes back, and there's Goldilocks. Some scuff-ups there with a couple of the guys in there, some misunderstandings. You know, of course, they were very excited having us on board. I was able to walk around. I went up to the deck and watching these F-14s and these jets come in, in the middle of the night and seeing these guys call the ball and just right out there on the deck and they're just landing right in front of us and taking off, like, just like the opening. It was spectacular. You just couldn't believe. Like, even on film, I think that Tony did an incredible job capturing the spirit of that. But standing there in person and the power of seeing that aircraft land on that deck and the power of it taking off and at night and it's mysterious and suddenly that jet is coming out of nowhere uh, to land and the deck is pitching. I was just like, holy shit, it takes some serious courage. I think on both ends, doing stuff like that. In fact, one of them who was on the carrier, on the deck, a young 19-year-old Navy recruit, ended up being one of our camera assistants on future movies. And he said, Jerry, if you ever do another Top Gun, you've got to call me. He's now a focus puller and one of the best in the business. We're shooting the scene where I take Goose's dog tags, you know, and we're just grabbing anything we can. Tony and I are meeting, we're kind of like walked around the deck and going, let's shoot here, let's, you know, we're gonna shoot here, we're gonna shoot this, I wanna grab this shot, I wanna, you know, walk over by those planes. We were just, basically we took over the aircraft carrier. They're on maneuvers and Tony Scott is just like, he's a madman. He's like, we lost the light. You gotta turn the carrier around, you know? <laughs> you gotta turn the carrier around. Tony got the admiral to turn the carrier around so that he could get his backlight. Numerous things like that with Tony. He was just an amazing guy and really relentless to get his story and get his shot.